This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Just another sunny day in Southern California. All right, officially day one in San Francisco. Met up with Jerome yesterday. Hey. We didn't do too much yesterday except we shot one um, from the Lum what is it called? Lumber Street. Lumber Street, yeah, the uh, zigzag ones. Um, but yeah, check out his Instagram and he also has YouTube. Everything will be linked below. I'm so tired. I'm dead <laughs> like I just came back from Germany. So <laughs> yeah, he's been on a flight like back to back. I've been more on more flights than I've been at home. So <laughs> pretty tired, but yeah, ready for the adventure. <laughs> but that's that's how it should be. Yeah. Cool. Alright, see you in the next spot. We're gonna shoot some streets, so yeah, see you down in a minute. Alright, so we're walking up this hill and you can tell it's serious when Jerome pulls <laughs> his pants up. <laughs> I'm getting hot and steamy. So we just made it all the way up and it's this view. Oh, uh, we got a cross, but um, yeah, that's the view we came for. It looks nice. We're gonna shoot a few photos here and see how it goes. Okay, so we just finished shooting the hill with the view of the bridge. It got foggy and it started raining, so it was really nice because before that it was flat. It was just um, all clouds, no sunlight. We're here at this uh, next spot, but the lighting's not great. So we decided to just get food and we're gonna just head to the next spot, but we're gonna shoot this at night at some point. Okay, so just finished eating and we're actually going to a train station. Uh, it has a, like, a really good architecture there so gonna shoot that and then shoot more of the streets and I don't know what else we're gonna do but hopefully if the sun's out at sunset we're gonna do the Baker Beach which has the view of the Golden Gate Bridge so I'm super excited for that but for now we're gonna head to the train station to shoot the architecture shop so made it to the Salesforce Plaza it's a transit center so it's like a transport terminal um, and yeah we're here this is the architecture and we're gonna shoot but I think this is when you really see the advantage of a 10 mil so I'll show you guys the photo from here soon So just shot this architecture spot and a lot of you guys really are curious on the 10 mil which I shot here because it's an architecture shot. Everything looks dynamic and just more grand I feel like with the 10. It's a hyper wide lens so it's wider than your typical wide lens like a 14 and 16 which is great for these locations but a lot of people um, have the hard time shooting with this lens because it's so much distortion but it's a great lens. Um, yeah so this is the 10. You guys see the results, it's pretty cool. Super happy with the results. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna head to the next location. So see you guys there. So I just made it to the next location, which is shooting those bridge down there, which is called the Oakland Bay Bridge. The light is kicking in very, very softly. I do want it a harsh lighting, but um, we have to work with this because this is what we have. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot some stuff, maybe some tighter frame, the 70 to 200 shot and try and use one of these leading lines and yeah make the composition interesting so it should look good Do you want to do like a jumping one? 
So Jerome's friend, she actually found one of the locations um, that I really wanted to go to. So if you want to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Katarina from Brazil, live in San Francisco. Go check her Instagram out. And yeah, we're gonna come back and shoot this location because it's backlit, but it looks very aesthetic and yeah, all black everything. So just made it to Marshall's Beach and we're shooting sunset here, but we're actually checking out that in-between shot of the trees and the Golden Gate. Sick! <laughs> so we made it down to the beach and it's foggy, but it's pretty cool. Gonna try and use those uh, rocks as a framing and composition point and shoot some photos there. All right, so yesterday um, after the fog sunset, there wasn't much of a sunset, but we shot a lot of um, photos just in case. But yeah, the funny story is that my camera switched to quick and slow settings. So um, the video is really fast and the audio wasn't in the clips. So I had to um, kind of scratch that and I'm just updating you guys right now. Um, went down to one of the streets at night. Um, we didn't know where it was. Uh, Jerome found one of the locations just on Instagram, but the geotag was San Francisco. So we just used Google Maps to kind of navigate where exactly that um, location was. And yeah, that's a really good way to find locations. And so yeah, that was everything we shot yesterday. But today is day two. We started the day in the morning from the Twin Peaks. It was fogged up and everything, couldn't see anything. So we decided to take a uber back but when the uber arrived um, the weather cleared up so we decided to dish the uber got some nice amazing sunrise or first light just after first light so still soft light um, cityscape of uh, San Francisco so that was amazing uh, one of the favorite shots for sure currently at this moment um, and then we just went on a helicopter ride uh, Jerome booked it and that was fun despite being harsh light but we got some cool photos I definitely got some amazing shots on the Xperia 1 Mark III uh, it was fun shooting on that phone and some on the 7200 and we are heading out again same plan as yesterday so the same location for sunset the beach but then we're gonna shoot the night cityscape from across the north side of San Francisco with the light trails. But yeah, fingers crossed that it's gonna work out today. As some of you know, I'm traveling around the US at the moment. And it's always a challenge to create these YouTube videos while traveling since I need to capture so many things from the vlog, b-rolls, and the photos. So Storyblocks has helped me to complete my videos by providing all the footage that I might have missed on the field. And there hasn't been a single time where I'd wish that I haven't taken a specific video or just shot more. If you don't know Storyblocks, it's an affordable subscription-based service to download unlimited 4K and HD videos as well as music, sound effects, and even images from their 1 million plus royalty stock assets. Also, Storyblocks has recently announced Restock. Stock's representation of people has been one-dimensional and unvaried for so long. So Storybox has taken an initiative to change this by expanding contributors to include wide diversity of creators and underrepresented communities to build collections that represents those communities in an authentic light. This means more stock content for us creatives and it's nice to see that they're focusing on the future of stock. So if you want to go check out Storybox, use my link below, but let's get back into the video. Okay, so just made it and we are back at the exact same spot as this today, doing the same plan as yesterday because we didn't get anything from yesterday. How are you feeling? Hopefully it's gonna be good, but there's no clouds, so uh, we have to be optimistic. Yeah, there's no clouds, but I guess it'll be okay. We'll get the foreground um, interesting. So yeah, there's not many people here now, so it's gonna be great.
can't see us, but we, <laughs> we are running into quite an issue. The tide is rising and my camera got wet. So um, yeah, we took time cleaning and then we forgot the tide that was rising. And so we're running back. It's a long way. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> So I just made it back to the parking lot. Uh, it was a disaster. At least we got really nice shots. My yeah, camera got soaked. It's already like nine, but we're gonna still head to the other side of the bridge to get um, the cityscape to end the day because we're not gonna go home until we get it. So we have this uh, one place uh, viewpoint I really wanted to shoot and um, yeah, we came by Uber, but <laughs> it's literally like highways and I don't know if it's like you're supposed to be walking here but the view is nice so hopefully we get it ah this is so sick these rocks make a good foreground yeah So it's 1 p.m. and we still haven't shot. We just edited and just ate from the grocery store, got some food, and we're heading to a cafe. Um, it's a really popular one, but we're going there because we're like falling asleep <laughs> while we were editing. You're falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> you're dead. You're like sleeping already. Oh, no, I was. I was doing some work. <laughs> Yeah, well anyways, uh, new environment is better, so we're gonna get coffee and edit some more and head out around 4 or 5, so yeah, we're just gonna shoot sunset and night today, taking it easy, but I'm excited to edit all the photos. Japantown yeah all the way came all the way from Japan and going to Japantown in San Francisco because Jerome loves Japan American sushi <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah we're gonna check that place out we're gonna see what it's all about and um, head to sunset so see you guys in Japantown <laughs> just made it to Japantown and even the he's signs are in Japanese he's smiling he's so happy. <laughs> yeah. even the signs are in Japanese <laughs> yeah the signs are in Japanese but like it's you, yeah it's so weird it's like in katakana and everything um, it definitely doesn't feel like Japan at least for me but they have a lot of Japanese uh, related stores or um, influence though all right so just ordered ramen came all the way from japan but i got ramen here in the u.s so we're gonna be eating ramen need food let's see how it tastes like how's it taste <laughs> from one to ten comparing it with to japan seven maybe okay yeah that's good that's good just finished everything it's pretty good now my stomach's full, we're gonna head to shoot. so just finished shooting some of the locations the bay bridge and a cityscape met up with ren jerome's friend well they were connected through uh instagram and then they found this first time right yeah first time meeting yeah cool yeah first time meeting her too and we got some cool photos because of her so you want to say anything to the camera 
<laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. I don't know. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's uh, end the vlog here. Uh, go follow her on Instagram if you haven't. Check her out. And yeah, I'm gonna head back and start editing. It's already midnight, pretty much, but we're gonna have to kind of power through it because we have deliverables. Yeah, I need to edit all my stuff, but <laughs> gonna push through. Yeah, I think we got some cool photos for. Actually, we didn't get sunset, but like. We're really going for like blue hour and nighttime, and we've kind of gotten a lot of those. Uh, took a long time because we're doing like tripod long exposure shots, and that takes forever to set up. And so, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed some of the photos. Heading back now, see you guys at home. All right, so just came back from the shoot. A uh, long day, despite having slept in a bit today. Uh, tomorrow, we decided to ditch sunrise and sleep in because we are actually editing from now on we have some client deliverables to do i think we got a lot of photos um, in the bridge area as well as a cool cityscape shot the bridge area i did use a 16 mil shot um, i did want to go wider but i did want to use a mist filter um, so i did use a 16 mil which was too tight so i panned from down up taking multiple shots using aperture priority and I'm gonna stitch it together. Um, I do have a tutorial, kind of like a tutorial, a short tutorial on my street photography episode one. So go check that out if you don't know how to do it. Um, but yeah, overall, I think we got some amazing photos throughout the three days here in San Francisco. Um, super happy with the results. I actually didn't think I'll get this many cool photos, but yeah, I'm gonna have to edit now and take a shower and sleep. Hopefully I get enough sleep for tomorrow because we are heading to the national parks. That'll be in a separate vlog, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoy the overall three days of vlog here in San Francisco. And yeah, like always, stay safe, stay curious, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.